beautiful people here's your girl Tancho Lovelin welcome back to my channel we're gonna be making arrow today with water leaf and water fufu all right let's introduce the ingredients immediately we have our arrow cow skin palm oil water leaves maggi cubes salt meat smoked fish crayfish a little bit of water to boil our cow skin fish and meat let me show you guys all the ingredients again beautiful all right guys the first thing to do is boil your cow skin till tender so let's go Just a little bit of salt. Cover your pot up and boil till tender. While your cow skin is boiling, chop your water leaves and wash properly. If the stalks of your water leaf are strong, cut them off. But if tender, go ahead and chop everything up. At times, I try to go through the water leaf bundles to check if there's anything hidden inside. At times you also have to pick up the flowers in your water leaf. Like this. Because they are not needed. Chop, put in a bowl and wash. While the cow skin is still boiling, we wash our chopped water leaves and our arrow. Do well to wash your arrow always with hot or warm water. It's very important. You don't want to visit the toilet that often. See you guys later. So guys, presenting to you my cleaned water leaves. They have been well washed. And also my washed arrow. So the next thing to do is to add our meat to the already boiling cow skin. Boil until tender and then you add your fish. See you guys later. Guys, so the next thing to do is add our fish and then our water leaf. boiling your pomo or cow skin make sure you have enough water to take it through the boiling process but not too much as to make your arrow watery at the end so cover up your pot and let this boil for approximately five to ten minutes so guys our water leaf has been boiling for a while the next thing is to add our arrow Mix. Next thing is to add our crayfish. Salt. Maggi cubes. And lastly, our oil. Mix everything up. Let this boil for another 10 to 15 minutes. You could throw in a scotch bonnet if you want it hot. 
See you guys later. We're going to be learning how to cook water fufu today. It's very easy. The only thing you need is your water fufu and water. But what I want you to note is that you have to be careful with the quantity of water you put in your water fufu because the end results will either be watery or thick, which is the normal consistency of water fufu. So guys, let's get down to business. The first thing you want to do is put your uncooked water fufu in a pot. So I'm just going to open this up and transfer to a pot like this. So the next thing is to use your hands to gently mix up your water fufu while adding water. Please wash your hands. Very important. So I'm just going to crumble the water fufu before I start adding water. At this stage, you can start adding water in little amounts. Mix. Make sure your water full is smooth to the touch when you're done with your mixing. Add a little more water. Mix. Use your fingers to crumble any hardened up uh, water fufu. Add just a little more water and that will be enough. Note that you may still add water while it's cooking. So, growing up in Cameroon guys, this used to be my best meal, water fufu and arrow. So guys, this is the consistency. So transfer the pot onto a stove and start mixing with the aid of a pistol. Since I'm not in possession of a pistol guys, I use a little wooden spoon like this. Mix constantly to avoid burning underneath. Keep mixing guys. Look at the direction of my hand. Lifting it up from the bottom of the pot. See? You notice that it's getting stronger. The stronger it gets, the more energy you need to mix. So when you come to a point where your water fufu is really strong, like this, Add a little bit of water. Reduce your heat to low medium heat. Cover your pot up and cook for approximately 10 minutes. Make sure to monitor so your water food doesn't get burnt up. So I just brought down my heat. See you later. So guys, checking our tafufu after 10 minutes to see if everything is ready. So you know your tafufu is ready when the color transforms from when the color transforms from pure white to yellowish white. So mix. Your water fufu is ready guys take this off cool it for a while and then form little balls out of it enjoy mm -hmm.